today I'm talking about Jean Claudius von Ptolemy, this Scottish looking guy over here who was from Alexandria and lived between 100 and 170 CE. Ptolemy was an accomplished mathematician, philosopher, astronomer, astrologer, as well as a pioneer in the science of harmonics and musicology. He's best known today for his super awesome, completely incontrovertible theory of astronomy which used these super fun epicycles. I don't know why people don't like this anymore. Well, okay, it was totally wrong. But his theories of harmonics were not totally wrong. They were actually really spot on. And his book, The Harmonicon, was a giant synthesis of ideas from across time and across the Mediterranean and Babylon. Unsurprisingly, he was strongly influenced by Pythagoras and Pythagorean harmonic theory. He goes further than his predecessors, and this is primarily due to his use of a device called a cannon or a monochord, which is an instrument used for tuning. Recent scholars have cast doubt on whether Pythagoras himself used a monochord. Probably he didn't. Monochord lets you isolate and measure the harmonics in the harmonic series, which allows for extremely precise tuning. Ptolemy provides us many versions of just intonation, both ones from ancient Greek history and ones from his own time that he had discovered and written down. All of Ptolemy's scales use a tetrachordal structure, consists of an octave broken in the middle by a whole tone, making an upper and a lower tetrachord, meaning four notes, not four chords. These are all heptatonic scales, seven note scales with an octave, making an eighth note. Each note in the lower tetrachord has a note one fifth above it, three to two ratio of a fifth above in the next tetrachord. So there's a parallelism between the two tetrachords. Here we are looking at Ptolemy's soft diatonic. In order to tune this, you go up a fifth and then up a fourth, creating an octave. Go down a fifth, and this creates your basic tetrachordal structure. From here, we go up by a septimal minor seven, natural seven. From this note, we go down a major sixth of five over three. And from this note, we go up a fifth. And then we go back to the seventh, and we go down a fifth to complete the tuning in the bottom tetrachord. Let's take a listen to some of the triads that this tuning makes possible. One way to use this tuning electronically is using Sevish's website, Scale Workshop. And here we can enter in the intervals relative to the starting pitch. 21 over 20, 7 over 6, 4 over 3, 3 over 2, 63 over 40, and 7 over 4. And we can run the math on this. 21 over 20 times 10 over 9 will give us the 7 over 6 and an 8 over 7. And we can run some numbers to calculate the other intervals within the scale, such as this 83 over 86, which fits into a triad with 189 over 160. Yes, these numbers are a little bit ugly, but they are compounded of ratios of the harmonic series, 10 over 9 and 8 over 7. And we can run the math on how to get those semitones. You basically go up a natural 7, 7 over 4, and then from there you go up a minor 3rd, 6 over 5, it's the same as going down a major 6th, and then we will have to octave reduce, and that will get us to our 21 over 20. And of course from there we just go up a 5th, and that takes us to our final minor 6th interval, 63 over 40. And voila, that's the math behind the numbers there. What we have is a very unique version of seven limit just intonation. And really there are a ton of other ways to do seven limit diatonic scales. And for example, Architas, it's a unique version of seven limit. 
allow me to go over some of the main seven limit intervals now. We have seven over six and seven over eight. These are found in the harmonic series, and when they are added together, they equal four over three, which is represented here in Architas Pyramid very clearly. All septimal or seven limit intervals are related to the seventh harmonic. Hidden between the fifth and seventh harmonic is this, I don't know, I think quite lovely flat fifth or sharp fourth, seven over five. And of course we have this septimal minor third of seven over six. And when we put all of these together, the seven over four, the seven over five, and the seven over six, it makes this beautiful chord actually adjust minor third with a six over five. That makes a lovely diminished chord when we add in the fundamental. And then we have the septimal whole tone of eight over seven. Septimal semitone of 14 over 13. The septimal semitone of 21 over 20 that we find in Ptolemy's soft diatonic. And a septimal semitone of 28 over 27, Architas's soft diatonic. And then we have two very small intervals, the septimal diasis, which is the difference between the 7 over 6 and the 8 over 7. Mathematically, we just divide the bigger from the smaller, and that gives us 49 over 48. The second is the septimal comma of 64 over 63, which is, again, the difference between the 8 over 7 and this time the 9 over 8 whole tone. And to end, I'm just going to share two pieces, one which was written by myself and Jonathan Kay for piano and saxophone in Ptolemy's Soft Diatonic. And then after that, I will show a sound study using a variety of seven limit intervals, forming a 12-tone scale that I came up with on my own. Thank you.